<sighs> so, yeah. I'm trying to be Tommy's girlfriend. I'm trying to be his girlfriend, y'all. I can't even front. I think he's sexy. He looks like, and I don't need to turn off the guys. <laughs> guys, you you know, I, sometimes I talk about men and y'all don't have a problem with that. But I think he's sexy. And um, I like his character. And um, I like his setup. I like the way he lives. I like the way he talks. I like the way he carries himself. I like his ideology, like his views. And he's a gentleman. Like, y'all are clowning right now, but I'm being dead ass serious. Like, doggy four five. Y'all know that I've been. <laughs> I've been I've been chilling y'all for a while. So I think at this point in my life, it's probably cool for me to be like, yo, what's good? Open up type shit. I don't know. <laughs> I have Tommy in my chat right now. So I feel kind of important. So I'm trying to be on my best behavior. I'm trying to be on my best behavior. Okay, I'm going to try it again. If it doesn't work, then I'm going to put the link in the chat, but I'm only going to cam up Tommy. So if I have to... <laughs> I'm like from Boston. Oh my gosh, you can't go, y'all. Hold up. <laughs> oh shit. Oh, fuck. Am I on? Hi. Hi. Hey, what's going on? What's going on? No, nothing much. Um I said that you can ask me whatever it is that you want to ask me, and I will try to answer. It just I I couldn't do I couldn't go and do my show tonight. Then that nigga had me well, hit it. I mean, I understand, and I was surprised that you lasted with that bullshit for that long, because that was some bullshit, like, seriously. Yeah, it's, uh, I don't but, know. Mm, you handled it well. Yeah, I just, I don't like when people play like that on a serious subject, and that subject is serious, and to see that there are black people who would rather feed other black people a lie that is costing them their lives. That that just bothered me. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I have I have a few questions. Mm -hmm. Um, I guess like what are your pet peeves? That's the first one I want to know. Like just in general, I mean, I guess I hate <laughs> I hate stupid people. <laughs> uh, I just really hate them. That's a pet peeve of mine. Just a dumbass. Like it, it's one thing to be, to be stupid. It's another oh. thing to just be stupid and not know it. I'd, I'd rather a stupid person know they stupid and shut the fuck up. Unlike this person, this M dot M in the comment section. Nigga, you know me. I don't know you. When the show over, motherfucker, I'd never say M dot M again. <laughs> but, nigga, you, but nigga, you would still be going somewhere trying to find me to be bothered, nigga. <laughs> Now throw up on that, bitch. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know who that is. I have a lot of trolls, so it doesn't even matter. Um, you know what I'm saying? Like, you don't have to worry about that. So I don't know. Like, um, your background sounds crazy. Like, what are you doing? Do you have me on YouTube? No, no, I'm just laying in the bed. Why? What? What is doing? I don't know. It sounds like a little echo, but um, no, I can turn it. I might just be up there. I don't. Know. The volume might be up too high. Is that any better? Yeah, that's better. Okay. Um, do you have or want pets? A what? Do you have pets? 
I got two cats. You have cats? Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, I don't really know how to do this. Is like I'm kind of getting hot. I, like I don't really know what to ask you, Tommy. I'm gonna be honest. But well, just ask what, like what, what's on your mind? It would have. You could have started off with what, what happened on the show, or ask me about. I don't know. You just, you just ask questions. You always have to be ready to to ask questions as an interviewer. Come on now, don't I let know. them see you sweat. I know. Um. I mean, I don't want to make it too personal either. That's the thing, because we're on live. Um, what you trying to tell them my business? No. Oh, <laughs> not, not, not at all. Um, <laughs> but I guess, like, well, shit. I'm bombing right now. Like, I can't do it. Um... So, do you want to go out soon? Like, do you want me to come out there like soon? Where are you where are you trying to go to? Um, wherever you are, you know. Oh, I thought you said go out. I was saying I was what, what you trying to do. I'm a um, I'm, I have I've been missing steak for a while. Can you cook, Shay? Yes, I can. Well, why don't you just cook me dinner? Then? How do you like your steak cooked? Uh, medium to medium to medium well. Okay. What's your favorite cut? It's cutting steak. Huh? What's the cut? Your choice of cut? That's like, what I was about to say. It's according to the, to the steak, like the way I want it cooked. Um, I'm a ribeye man and I'm a, a filet man. Uh, I'll even do a T-bone every now and again. Um, not a strip fan, a, a New York strip. Um, the A5 steak is, is – actually, I'm one of the people who really don't like the A5 steak. It's odd, but to me, it's not firm enough. Mm-hmm. So what sides do you like? Uh, not tomahawk size, but I definitely don't like the petite filet. No, I said your sides. Yeah, a, your sides. What, what? Your sides. What are you going to oh, eat side. with the steak? I just said the sides. Okay. Uh, let's yeah. see. Uh, my macaroni and cheese, mac and cheese, uh, asparagus, corn. Okay. That's easy. Okay. Um, are you a like an outdoorsy type person? Do you like to do like um, trails or nature trails or anything like that? You know, I just went on a trail today. Uh, I I've been trying to get in shape because I'm I, I've gotten fat, so I'm trying to get in. You shape. are not, and you are not fat. <laughs> Trust no, me. no. Um, I You're need not to get in shape. fat. Mm -hmm. I used to be in a lot better shape, so I, I gotta, I gotta do something. So I, I, but I do like going on trails. Uh, it was better on the west coast than it is on the east coast, I guess, because I grew up with trees and stuff. I don't like that. I actually like the desert. Mm, I've never been to the desert. Interesting. Oh, if you can go to a place, like where would you want to visit next? I'm really, really interested in uh, visiting either um, Liberia or um, or probably London. Liberia or London. Interesting. Okay. Interesting. Oh, who's this M dot M person? This person knows me. They know my life. They want to. They want to write my autobiography. Hmm. What? Is, who's Lady La? Um, uh, a girl who used to uh, be a fan of the show, and when she stopped being a fan of the show, yeah, she started making videos talking about me. It's the same old chestnut. Oh. Well, yeah, so with the lady, I guess. Mm. Oh, Jax wants to know if I can swim. I can swim. Can you swim? I cannot. You can't swim. <laughs> yes, Do you? Not. I that a pool. No, I'm, I'm, I'm a nigga like that. I don't <laughs> ever use that pool. I just like people to know I got it. Oh, wait a minute. So you have a pool that you don't swim in? Nope. I, I've lived on the West Coast for so long. What a lot of people who live on the West Coast will tell you, everybody has swimming pools. So I just got used to seeing them in the backyard. 
That is so ghetto. Well, not ghetto, but I, I'm with it. I, I could, okay, I could. Do it. it probably is because if a nigga wanted to kill me, he could just come over here and push me in my own pool. <laughs> <laughs> Why would you say that? <laughs> Why I'm would just you saying say it'd be that? the perfect murder that a nigga just slipped in his own food. They get away with it. Nah, I'll save you. I can swim. I got you. You like can't help but swim with the big old floaties you got up top. Watch your mouth. You got your big old titties. Damn it. I thought you liked the these titties. Those things are huge. I thought you liked these titties. Oh, I do. I do. I was like, woo. I... Woo. We better stop talking. They're going to make videos. Oh, okay. I almost got to run in my mouth. Okay, let's be let's be good. Keep it up. <laughs> mm-hmm. Anyway, so um, well, I do um want to come back down to visit you very soon. All right. Um, I did enjoy my time with you. I would like to actually, you know, possibly. Do a little bit more with you um, mm. than what we did the first time. <laughs> All right. So I um I'm not really good at this whole texting thing or whatever, but just know that I'm always thinking about you. Like I really am, because I'm you're I'm intrigued by you. So, I'm too black to make blush like this. Why are you doing this? You're making me blush. I'm too black for this. I'll just be an honest, Tommy. Like I'm dead ass right now. Like I really mm-hmm. do, I really do like you. And I really do want to get to know you more. And I'm not afraid to say it. Like I usually don't even like to put my business out there like that at all. Like at all. So this is just <sighs> it's different for me. It is. It's different. I have a huge smile on my face. I'm glad. I hope so. I hope so. I'm glad. Um, it's like I'm getting, somebody said I'm getting hard watching these too. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm not getting any younger, guys. <laughs> so... <laughs> I'm sorry, that took a shit out of me. <laughs> <laughs> well, it is what it is. It's, it's the chemistry is real. It is what it is. So I'm fucking hot myself, y'all. I can't even lie. Miss um, <laughs> Betty so. said this will not end well. <laughs> right. said, no, it won't. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> Oh, I, you know, I have trolls, so it is what it is. I, 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 um, I'm not worried about that. I, I, uh, I'm nervous, so this is good. Like, it's a good nervous. <sighs> yeah. I never expected this from him, bruh. They never expected what? I don't know. You never expected what? Oh, Tommy's look. gonna beat it up like Mike Tyson for sure. Tommy, make sure you film it and put it on the hub. Can we do that? You wanna make a porno? Yeah, let's do it. We gotta, we gotta have some type of uh, terms and agreements. What are the terms and agreements? Split the money fifty fifty. <laughs> <laughs> We gotta split the money 50 50. I guess. I think I should get a 60 40 split. I think we should have a 50 50. It's I don't gonna know. be a working relationship. Well, because see, but people, it's so you have, even when you're dealing with personal and business, you still have to do the business part correct. I would so, be the draw, so I would have to at least get 60. I'm being friendly giving 60. Okay. Well, you say you're the headliner. That's what this yeah. is about. It wouldn't or, it be that? Yes, that's why people would come. So I would have to get paid. It's like if, if you know, I did a movie, and in that movie, uh, Denzel Washington would say, I, I want to be in the movie with him. They would pay him more than they pay me. Not that he's a better actor than me, but because he's a bigger actor than me. He's going to bring the majority of people to buy the tickets. But so they want to see my butt, and they want to see my boobs. Don't, look, it'll be... Literally a bunch of people who just want to see 
what it is I got. They wouldn't know who you were. Remember? I don't want them to see me. Well, all right, sixty forty. They would be coming to see me. I'm actually supposed to take seventy thirty, but no, I'm being friendly. I don't, friendly I don't want 40. them to see what you're what you're working with. How about that? Mm-hmm. Why not? Because I'm jealous type. Oh, that dog, you can't be jealous around me. Well, I mean, I'm not jealous when it comes to certain stuff, but showing your package to the world. Uh, I mean, if you bought that life, maybe I'll be bought that life. It's time for me to try something different. Why not? Look, but, I, I always I always wanted to just slip up and release a, my own video. I'm just okay. scared it might hurt my run for Congress. I don't think so. Not the way with the the way our politicians are. You know, mm-hmm. I don't think that would hurt you. Um, if it maybe if it was with someone that you were with at the time and it wasn't like a porn star or stripper. Yeah, no, I wouldn't do it with that. I do it in a you know just a. I I want to do one of them where we come me you and me we come on weekly, and we just have discussions like this, but have sex while we're doing it. <laughs> and. Look at you giggling. I'm telling you, I'm dead, I'm dead ass. It'd be fun. Don't you think it'd be fun? Yes. I think it would be fun. Do that camera view where you where you holding the mic and talking to the camera, but the mic is my penis. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't think you're being serious. <laughs> Oh uh, yeah. And then you just ask the question why doing it. Yeah. <laughs> okay. We can talk about it, Tommy. We can talk about um, it. All right. I'll tell you we get that only fans popping. Well, you gotta do it because they rejected me already. So <laughs> only fans, how did only fans reject you? I don't know. Like <laughs> I applied <laughs> twice. How you get I kicked applied. off? How you get rejected by only fans? Don't tell people that in public. <laughs> They just everybody knows I did a show about it, so like I applied twice and they they rejected me. I don't know what I did wrong, and they didn't even give me like a valid reason. They were like, "You have to submit clearer Stop pictures." Telling a story, I'm tired. I can't make this up. I'll show you the emails. I will show you the emails where I got rejected. It's in my phone. They gotta get you out of the kitchen. You are self roast. You cannot do this. <laughs> <laughs> I was just saying, you know. Uh, mm. We'll figure it out. Oh, salute. I got a few cash outs that came through. And um, I just want to say salute to um, Mr. Engaged 860. It says, What up, braces? Baby shiny all day. <laughs> Okay, thank you. And then Kalade, oh, Kalade sent me in some Skrilla. Thank you. He's somebody that comes on the panel too. I have a few people that come in and out on my machine, Tommy. So. They said somebody said, I'm going to end up on Me Too. Shay will end up calling the cops when she don't get paid. Who you don't call the cops on, Shay? I, didn't, I don't call the cops on people. I've never <laughs> called the cops on anyone. They said you calling cops. Mm-mm. They got me scared now. Ugh. Nah, I don't think honestly I would have I don't I've never called the cops on anyone. I've never dealt with anyone that I would have to call the cops on them because you know, if you have an honest relationship, it's not really that serious, you know, as long as you're not doing any undercutting stuff. I don't think I would ever have to call the cops on you or ever want to fight you, even if me and you got into like a heated conversation and we've been in heated conversations before like i just have a respect for you it's about the respect level you have for the man and because i respect you it's just like i couldn't see myself i ain't gonna to lie that level. i ain't gonna lie i'm a bit afraid to get me too i ain't gonna lie about that one i don't blame you because that ain't nothing to play with but i'm gonna say this on live like i consent to this entire situation that i have right here on this on the phone on the on the stream with me like i've never been that type of shady individual or female like i've never did anybody wrong in the past when it comes to business on trying to like me to them or make up a false narrative so i wouldn't do that with you and i'm actually interested in you like not not for 
YouTube purposes, but just like off the strength that I'm really attracted to you. So it, it's a different story. You know, it's a different ball game. What up, Uncommon? Um, I, I just think that men are getting railroaded really bad in out in the world today and how easy it is for somebody to say 15 years ago you did something with no damn proof and they still are actually questioning these men and in some cases trying to arrest them. Yeah, yeah. I don't think when you're falsely accused that it's the right thing to have to go through, but you know, there are people out there that deserve to get investigated for their behaviors. But, you know, if you're innocent, innocent should always prevail. That's why maybe like our ju judicial system should take more time in, in going through cases up, like Jackson? that when it comes to me too. But um, I don't know. Mm. Well, I, I, it's funny. Um, some woman said, I just know the people he's done wrong. Mm -hmm. I would love for um, M, M, M to tell me the people I've done wrong and I'll talk on each one of them. You name these people I've done wrong. I don't mind. See, mm -hmm. unlike other people, I don't run from what people say. I run to it. Well, so I would love to know about those people I've done wrong and I'll answer. Well, I have a question. Do you uh -huh. have like a criminal background? Do I have a criminal background? No, ma'am. I have oh. never been convicted of any crime in my life. That's why I don't trust women. Women will get you in front of the judge even when you didn't do anything. But the justice system works. I've never been to trial. I've never anything. That bitches lie, and it ended up blowing up in their face, which is why I talk so much shit about women. Oh, wow. That's sexy. No criminal background, y'all. <laughs> oh, um, because I tell people all the time anybody can be arrested, anybody that's ever been arrested can tell you, and anybody can get arrested. It is not hard getting arrested. I've never been physically arrested, like put in handcuffs, but I've been sent to court for to see like a judge because I was um acting out at uh my employer when they uh they laid me off. So, but they ended up just making me like donate to some woman's charity. What was you doing? Like they laid me off and I was like, screw this shit. It's right before Thanksgiving and I haven't even bought my Christmas gifts for my family and you're gonna lay me off. So I started kicking chairs and, and throwing papers and shit. And oh, I was like, no. yeah, it was in Wallingford, Connecticut, which is like super white. And then they called the police and they, when they yeah. when the when the police came out, you know, I was very proper. I was like, "Listen, they just laid me off, and I didn't even buy any Christmas gifts for any of my family members." And they were like, "Ma'am, just go outside." And they gave me a paper and and told me to show up to court. Hmm. So you destruction, you destroyed their property. I, it was destruction, and it was what was it? Um, disturbance, disturbing yep. the peace. <laughs> <laughs> It was like disturbing the peace. Yep, I kind of figured those charges, but it's, <laughs> I get it. But you did that. Did nobody accuse you of it? You did it. <laughs> oh, I did it. I did it because they. I had given that company like three years of my life, and then they just turned around and laid me off. So I was like, and then they gave me a severance package so that you know, so the people that were affected by it, you know, they wouldn't be, um, you know suing them or whatever but at first they were like oh we're not going to give you the packets because i told them that i didn't want to finish the um the days because i thought it was bs i'm like you want me to work until when knowing you know for an extra three weeks or a month or so and i said no so they said well if you don't work the whole full time then you won't get paid the severance package so it just got ugly and then um <laughs> yeah so then they yeah that ain't good eh? that <laughs> Ooh, I don't. Ugh. I mean, we're talking about my livelihood, Tommy. <laughs> yeah. And this happened. This happened so long ago. So mm. it's like, I'm mm. way, I'm way past mm. that. No, no, mm. I'm way past that. Uh, well, I'm a, this Dan said, would I ever do a debate on side another channel again? I don't think so, cause I didn't know that nigga was stupid like that. And if you ain't gonna call a nigga on being stupid, then I'm gonna cuss the motherfucker out. Somebody, this other girl said, uh, I mean, this other person said, did Tyree Nasheed ever tell you 
Um, why he didn't have Jews in hidden colors? Nope. And he won't show y'all either. Uh, Eminem said, just go watch Lady Live videos. Do you understand? And I'm sick and tired of rehashing this uh, story to these trolls. This girl had built a Soto Nation for a long, long, long time. Years. If you go look at the video of me at the um, me at the the Hooters in Atlanta with the viral video where the girl wouldn't serve me because of my Trump hat. You go look at that. She's in that video. You go look at the video from where I found the girls weaving in the in, in my show. She's in that video. She's always been a fan for years. Never had an issue. She brought me some clown by the name of Uncle Suge. Didn't tell me that this Uncle Suge knew her. She used to send me videos all the time telling me somebody's talking about me. This Uncle Suge character is a dude who sat up there and for weeks put up my personal information, put up my family and everything as a troll. What? She knew the troll. She, she had told me to go on the show, but didn't tell me who he was. Once you do something like that to me, I cut you off. I completely yeah. cut her off. Huh? I said, fuck yeah. Yeah, so I completely cut her off. You don't do that to me. I didn't say anything to her, though. After that, what she ended up doing was trying to tell people um, that I, uh, what, what was it, that um, my house stink and shit like that. And I was like, uh, bitch, you painted my floor. She came to paint. She begged to come to my house to paint my house. But then she started telling them I was trying to fuck her while she was here. And uh, I'm dating Michi X. So want to let Michi know that on her way into my house, another woman was coming out of my house. What kind of person says any of that shit? So while you was begging to paint my house, I wasn't a bad guy. While my house was smelling like ass, you was willing to come back and keep painting my damn house. But now that I don't want to have anything to do with you. Now my house smell like ass. Uh, I tried to fuck you. And I, and, and the per she says, I've been trying to fuck her for 11 years. What grown woman would come over to my house if I've been trying to fuck them and they don't want to fuck me? Yeah, what grown cool. woman would try to come back to my house after they came to paint and I tried to fuck them at my house? Who does this? Now, mind you, this is supposed to be a woman with a fiance. There would have been no need for this. That sounds I did that. nothing wrong. She went to after we stopped talking, everybody who disliked me, she was now in their videos talking shit about me. That doesn't make sense. How did I do something wrong, ma'am? Whoever that is in the comment section. What did I do wrong? Because remember, after all of that stuff she threw out about what I did, she was still so donation. Well, but what did she say you did besides trying to get with her? That's what I'm saying. That don't even make sense. She was one of the main people who said, why would a woman brag about a man trying to fuck him? Isn't that what men try to do? Is what she said. But then when she wanted to throw it up in my face, and it didn't make sense because apparently I was trying to fuck her while I was doing my live show. Because the entire time she was at my house, I was doing my live show. And another thing, when she came to paint my house, I never told anybody she was at my house. I never told anybody she ever came to my house. Next show I'm doing, I'm doing a show three weeks later, or like a like a couple days later. She's in my comment section letting people know she had been to my house. Oh. I didn't tell people she was there. She did. Tommy has a beautiful house. Now we stop talking. My house smells like cat ass. That's crazy. That's some bullshit. This person said there's more to the story. More like what, Eminem? How are you going to tell somebody there's more to the story and you weren't there? How the fuck somebody get to my house if I was trying to fuck them? M dot M. Why don't you explain that? Do you want them to kill up? Whatever no. it is, the stupid motherfucker, they never answer simple questions. If I was trying to fuck somebody, why would they ask to come to my house? And what? And wait. I'm trying to fuck you. You got a you got a uh, fiance, but you want to come to my house to paint. You ain't no fucking professional painter. Right, the Eminem act like they were with me. And, and see, I want to apologize right now that I've sat up here and let somebody get me into an argument 
that I don't want to be in any fucking more because yeah. I don't know who the fuck that is. And that's all niggas do is try to oh. start stupid shit. Who's going to sit mean, up there and keep acting like they know the particulars of something and they weren't there? It sounds what, stupid. What does that have to do with now? Like, exactly. I don't even... That's why I said I wish I'd have never got into it with the son of a bitch because it's just some troll that's going to turn around and keep an argument going that needs to stop. There's no reason for me to be arguing with that damn girl or nobody else. Do you offer promotion for commercials? I have a platform here that wanted to know how much you would charge them if you did a promo on their channel. It looks a promo like of their channel. I charge like 300. 300. So they they wanted to know if you could do like a customized promo for their channel. So they emailed you. I guess it was a line of communication. He set a price um, behind the bar. If you want to reach out to me, I could forward the information to him. And then you guys can work that out. Um, but I wouldn't, I mean, I don't understand why people think that by sending information or talking about someone on what they did previously, like that that would stop someone, someone from wanting to deal with someone in the future. Like and stupid, stupid bitch talking about I'm warning, I'm warning Shay. How are you gonna warn somebody? I've dealt with several of damn people. There's been several people on damn YouTube. You don't hear shit about it. I'm not. This is you the don't only... hear about me. It will make sense if you say everybody he fucked. I hear about it. They online talking shit about him. No, I, and then so what? If I choose to deal with somebody, <laughs> that's my that's my choice. So. I mean, I don't know, to each its own. Everybody has their own personal and different experiences with people. So M dot M, I know you have a thing for me and I know you're probably looking out for me, but I think it's kind of shady that you would even throw shade on the next person. Like, seriously, like seriously. And then it's just nigga shit. This is exactly what was going on in the other one. Uh, Eminem, you struck a nerve. No. Niggas said lying about people's lives and then yell, I struck a nerve when somebody responds to their dumb ass. There's a reason why you in the damn audience. Exactly. Stupid motherfuckers. They love to sit there and type. That's why I love being on my damn show because they type for free. They type mm -hmm. for fun and I type for funds. Exactly. <laughs> sit up there and do all that stupid ass talking and then somebody talking about you struck somebody's nerve. Nigga, you came to hear this. <laughs> Fuck what you gonna sit up here. I, I, that's why I know how to entertain a motherfucker and you know how to type. That's why he's laughing his ass off right now because he's a troll. He just wants attention. Most attention want trolls. And salute to Rich Bleasy. Rich Bleasy says for a great show, they see business. All right. Sorry, Rich Bleasy. I uh to disappoint you, but I'm good. <laughs> um Anyway, I'm kind of like in awe right now. Oh, about this character guy, Jabari. So that's what I wanted to ask you. How did that happen? Like, why did Sonetta just, like, did he just randomly reach out to you and wanted to do a, um, an interview? Like, how yeah, did that happen? Yeah, you don't remember the night. Well, I don't know if you must not have been watching, but the night before when I was doing my show, my phone rang. No, I was watching and I saw him call you, but yeah. I didn't understand if you guys have like a constant you know, communication or if that was just out Nah, I'm open to talk to anybody. You ask me, because I know the truth travels. I don't need preparation time. I didn't know who Jabari was. When you tell the truth, you don't need preparation. You don't need uh, advance notice. You don't need any of that shit. I don't even know who my opponent is. If, I, if I'm going against somebody, I know one thing I have on my side is the facts. It doesn't matter who I'm talking to. You can put me in any setting. I know I have the facts because I don't talk about shit I don't know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I just thought that it was so random, like, because, I don't know, I didn't know if maybe you guys already have had, like, previous debates for, before, before, or if that was, like, was that, like, your first time on his, on Sonetta's platform? Nah, I've been on his show plenty of times. Okay, because I, I don't really know too much. I know that he's supposed to be, like, a part of, I guess, the conscious community, but, I, like I said, I don't I even know why they call them niggas conscious. I if really they talk think to, like, Jabari, them niggas are un Conscious. Oh my gosh, that's such an overrated term to go by. Like, I can't stand that stay whole conscious stuff. Like, it's 
but no disrespect to them because I don't want anyone coming from my neck or, um, you know, anyone from that community coming from my neck because I, I think everyone needs to identify to some type of group if they're lost. If you, you understand, like, you understand what I'm saying? So, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. I'll, de I'll debate polite. Uh, it's just funny. A lot of the people who I used to debate, they've changed their talking points to sound like mine. Uh. All of because the thing is, I'm right. Look at what happened to Young Pharaoh. If the Young Pharaoh came on my show and I gave him the business, who he sound like now. And it's yeah. good that he woke up. He still got a lot, and he's a young man. He wasn't one of them haters like these fools running around, keep talking shit about me. This is young Tony Farrell would kill those dudes. <laughs> Are you a heartbreaker? Why is everybody telling me to guard my heart, Tommy? I'm pretty sure any man that's in his 40s that's single would be considered a heartbreaker or a gay man. But do you want to get married? Uh, yeah, I would like to get married uh, one day, but the only thing that scares me is the idea of getting married. You're usually going to get married to somebody that's broke, and I don't want to end up like Dr. Dre and you get half of it. Have you considered a prenuptial agreement? Yeah, but women can find a way to get around it. I've seen them do it. Marriage just scares me. Does marriage just scare you? Or scare you, or is it the uh, ideal of divorce? Yeah, like I, I would do. It. I just believe if people love each other, they don't have to go through being in the state anyway. When's the last time the state got involved in something and it went right? Well, you, you don't believe in um, like. Just getting a marriage certificate? I don't understand. Yeah, I don't want to do that. Why? Somebody said, Hassan Campbell wants another debate. Are you asking the question? Oh, I don't know if he does or not. Uh, you said, uh, why? I what? Well, I'm sorry, what was it? I mean, you really, I'm still trying to argue the I like, well, I guess talk about the fact that you said you're afraid of marriage. I think you're not afraid of marriage. I think you're afraid of divorce. So why don't you put that in the, in the, um, the marriage? Why can't me and the woman just be together without uh, going and signing some paperwork? Well, why is that so difficult? Do you still get the ring and everything else? Yeah. Then? Like why I got to go through the state? Just like wow. when I, if I have another kid, I don't want it to go through the, the regular hospital drugs in the system. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, natural birth. Well, what about like? Well, no, no. I'm just getting clarification. So if you don't want to, if you don't want a marriage license, or if you don't want to get the contract, you're still gonna get the woman the the wedding and all that. Yeah, I'll do all that for. It. We can have a big old wedding in front of all your your mama, <laughs> your cousin. We could do all that. I'm straight with that. No, fuck that. I want the license and I want a prenup. I'll give you a prenup. Well, what would the license be for then if you're giving me a prenup? Because it has to be real. Well, it's real to us, so I guess I was about that to say, yeah, that's well, why I'll it, it sounds like you're trying that. to impress the white man. No, I'm not, but I would take that. I could respect it I, as long uh -oh. as it's in front of everybody. If it's in front of everybody, it makes perfect sense. Yeah, I'll do that. I just don't want to go through the white man's uh, uh, version of marriage. Until, yeah, until I get my money right. <sighs> I'm just fucking with you, man. I'm just, it's just we're having an open conversation. Oh, all. no, I don't mind. I, I answer all questions. I think I got high enough to why I'm hungry a little bit. <sighs> well, have you uh, eaten anything or do you have anything to, to snack on? I don't think I have anything to snack on. I'm going to go look around and see. I don't think I got it. Mm. Huh. You don't have any snacks. Oh, I got, I got some, um, some, some weed rice krispies, but that probably ain't good to snack on. No. <laughs> <laughs> You'll probably pass that, out. that bit that won't do the trick. I guess I could. No, that cake and ice cream. That's too. That's too sweet. That's boring. I don't think I have like real. I need fruit probably. You do. You need some I fruit. You need some melons sliced up. <laughs> I need yours. You do? <laughs> I was being serious. Melons. You like berries and stuff like that? Yeah, Barry White, Barry Sanders. 
Come on, silly rapper. <laughs> <laughs> you rap. have to, I like Barry, the Rick Barry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking about snacking and stuff. Oh, okay. You got be. You got be more. You got be more precise. Um, have you ever done a long distance relationship? All my relationships are typically long distance. I don't like people living around me because I don't trust motherfuckers. They crazy. Oh, well, you didn't have to say it all like that. What's going on? <laughs> I'm just scared of the... you. you motherfuckers be. crazy. They say, you know, you break up with them, they at your doorstep. Yeah. Well. So if they live, if I at least like when they got to catch a flight, bitch, like, <laughs> you got to. <laughs> really, <laughs> now? If you're going to kill me, it's going to take a few hours, motherfucker. I'm <laughs> Why would somebody kill you, Tommy? Niggas don't know how to let go. Why would somebody want to let go if you're trying to be with them? Look, shit happens. Motherfuckers got to take rejection. How, Sometimes shit it, don't work out. What's, right, the listen. Longest, what's the longest relationship you've been in, Tommy? Uh, Like seven years, six, seven years. Okay. Was it six, seven years? Let me, let me not lie. Hold on. Yeah, it was like... It was like four or five years. I, I, I think I fudged the numbers. I can't really tell. I think I had two of them like four or five years. That's not that long, Tommy. You said it wasn't that long. No. Do you Are you cheating? Like, what is the cause of the breakups? Is it cheating? I mean, I mean, sometimes, you know. What the no, fuck I've never been broken up with because I cheated. I have so cheated, but I've never had anybody break up with me because I cheated. What what was the like overall reason why they don't the relationships don't work? Either I get tired of them, I guess they get tired of me. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So it's like a mutual type of yeah. Okay, so that's what I'm saying. If you could break up regular, then that means you could have regular relationships. That's what I'm trying to figure out. Like, why would somebody stalk you if they broke up with you? You know, if they just move yeah. on. Why would somebody tear up the place where they work at because they got fired? Because I had just got a new <laughs> apartment and I had just had a uh, new I don't give a damn. You making up reasons. So that's the point. Everybody can make up reasons, right? I was in my early 20s. Like, that's why I didn't give a fuck. I was, I didn't give a fuck. I didn't want to go back to my mama house. I was just angry. I was an angry young black woman then, you know? That's all I'm saying. But people grow up, Tommy. People grow up. Yeah. I will debate Dr. Umar Johnson. Yes. Mm. You would debate Dr. Umar Johnson. Has he gotten to school yet? Um, I thought he did, but I'm not sure. Mm. Well, I guess. So... Shay, just enjoy the sex, I just the money, that. and the views. I just heard that. You will get the relationship you're seeking. Okay. Yeah. So you're gonna enjoy the sex. So, so you gonna get views from it? I didn't know that. What from us having sex? <laughs> Do you want to have sex with me, Tommy? Again, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I thought she was going to say. Stop your laughter. <laughs> Tommy. Tommy. Mm hmm. When? Uh, I figure this week is good coming up. Okay. So you just put my business out there. I did what? You put our business out there. I did not. Look at the fucking chat. <laughs> Everybody is saying, wow. Yes, you They are did. assuming. They are assuming. Oh, you just said <laughs> again. You just said again, Tommy. Tommy. They are making assumptions. These people are making some assumptions. <laughs> this is like, you're making me have to like, ah! Damn it. Look at the chat. Look at the chat. Look at the mm. chat. <laughs> I'm okay with that. Did somebody say, oh, so the four years is a lie? No, it was Oh, they must be behind. Never mind. No, no, no. No, the seven yeah. years is a lie. 
No, they're talking about they're talking about my celibacy because I didn't tell them that I broke it. So that wasn't that a lie. Yeah, that, that was what I said. That doesn't mean the four years was a lie. That it means wasn't the four a lie. years came to an end. It's just it's not. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> And that's why you guys saw me in, you know, out of town. Like, it's just done. And I didn't know, and I didn't want to say anything about it until I got this type of uh, treatment from Tommy because Tommy don't know how to answer his phone. But I don't, I'm not complaining too much because I know he's a busy man. So I didn't know if he really liked me or not. But evidently he liked me because he's here with me right now. So. I'm not a phone answerer. Well, thank you for telling me that now. I mean, you text. I've never been a phone dude. It's like I we're total opposites. I, because I, I talk I, for a living. I know. Like I get that. Dude, you don't want to ask this nigga to come home and paint too? I get He's it. I get it. I get it. And you do respond. So, I mean, you respond to me. So I can't really complain. I get that. I and that, that's how I am. I dated a girl who did porn. I didn't want to just ask for my dick suck as soon as she get home from work. That bitch might want to rest her jaws. She wanted to rest her jaws. I don't know about talking about something. I want my dick suck. <laughs> she had a long day. Her lips hurting. So about dick sucking, um, yeah. And hey. that'll be <laughs> Is that a is that a factor like a, a, a breaking point? Like you have to have your dick sucked in order for yeah. you to be in a relationship. I don't see how anybody I can do that to have sex. I don't see how people can have sex without it. <laughs> I would be really upset if I just sat there and you were just gonna do it. Like, hold on, Pimp. That's what we're doing. Uh, do you eat pussy? We'll see. <laughs> Let's that's see, a that's breaking. That's a breaking factor if you don't eat pussy. Well, then, see, look, I gotta, I gotta show my face every day, and you know, it could go left. Tommy, you, know, you can't just go around eat pussy because then somebody, I, you know, if, if it was showing on my face, and some shit went wrong, and I ain't trying to, I ain't trying to do that. You see how clear my face is. Your face is gonna eat, stay real clear after you eat my pussy. Just so you <laughs> it's know that, okay? Pussy free face. Your, I got a beard. Your face is gonna stay pretty clear <laughs> after you eat my <laughs> pussy. Respectfully. You know, listen. You respectfully. Listen. Respectfully. No, but I do like six to nine though for some reason. Yeah, we could do it at the same time if that's what you want. Yeah, I think but but other than that, I really I'm I'm scared. You're scared Don't to eat be. pussy like that because pussy is just, you just it never know. It tastes like sugar. Don't even worry about it. I mean, that, I don't, I don't, oh, I, oh. It's sweet. Listen, pussy, is, if, when you get a bad one, it can ruin your life. It just, it it, it, it changed your mind about going back down there. It's like, I know. I'm it's not like, worrying about it's that. like eating somebody's food, and if that food sucks, and it be like you've never had that before, and you have that. If it sucks, it's hard for somebody else to be like, hey, you want to try my halibut? Be like, nah, I'm good. Say hello to my little pussy. You're going to like her. <laughs> You're going to like her. <laughs> you will. You'll find yourself down there a lot more often than you think. Uh, okay, <laughs> well, like I said, I like it when they say, if you set it in my face, I kind of like it like that. I don't know if you're going to okay. do it. Okay. But I don't want you to sm uh, smother me either, though. I'm not. I know how to uh, hold my weight up. Okay. I'm not a heavy bitch. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. This is all. That's all titty. Yeah. <laughs> uh, this person said he will eat it from the back, but nah, I can't do that because then you put your nose in their ass. Mm -hmm. I like it from the back though, but I'm, I, you know, that's when you're hitting it from the back. You know, well, I can do that. I can hit it from the back, but I'm not putting my face in it back there like that. No, uh -huh. I just want you to go down there and, and just taste it. That's all. Just taste I go down it. There, I go down there and blow it. <laughs> <laughs> I, blow yeah. it. I blow your vagina, make your stomach go. <laughs> I go down there and put my hands on it like I'm giving it CPR. Just. <laughs> That's not right. Yeah, I will. No, no woman never asked me to go back down there again. 
I just blow in that motherfucker. Just yeah, critical beatdown, 1980 South Bronx said, "Is Shay taller than Tommy?" No. Mm. He's not. I'm not taller than him, y'all. He's like, he got I'm me. I'm five eleven. What are you five eight, five nine? I'm like five ten and a half. Oh, okay. But so I, I'm just felt a, like, I'm just, I felt like you was taller than me. I know. Like, that's what I was about to say. If you say you five ten and a half, I figured you was about five five nine. I thought five, you eight. was like I thought you was like six one. Like mm -mm. I'm just five eleven. No, you seem like I knew you were tall though. Yeah, I, I feel like you were you're taller than me. Like you were taller. Oh, taller. I'm taller, but I, I didn't I didn't think it's but I thought it was by about two inches. So when you say you five ten, I, I didn't know that. Yeah, I'm five ten. I maybe I shrunk. Maybe I'm five nine, but I think mm. I'm I know I'm five ten. <laughs> mm. <Yeah. laughs> uh somebody said you tall in clear heels. Yeah, she tall in, in heels. She'd be taller. I would assume. Yeah. Are you intimidated by a woman in tall that that's taller than you in heels? No, nah, I dated a woman that was six foot five, flat foot. Come on, seriously? Yes. Mm. I like to wear heels. So, and she would wear heels as well. And six five with heels on? That sounds like yep. Yao Ming's sister or something like that. Yeah, I mean, it looked weird when she was tall like that, but I mean, it was also fun to walk around with a big old tall, fine ass bitch like that. So I didn't mind yeah. for a while. It was a, it was exotic yeah, to, to for people to look and see y'all and you walk around look like her little brother shit. <laughs> How big were her feet? Uh, she was close to my size in, in shoes. I'm a 12. She was like 11 in dudes. You were a size 12? Okay. Somebody's calling my trap line because I'm on live, but I'm not taking any calls, guys. Mm. Oh, wait. Let's see who it is. No, I don't want to take calls with you. I think I, I just... Wanted to be me and you right now. So I said, bump and dump, then unsubscribe. I'm not taking any calls on this number. So I think this is Black Caesar because he's the only one that calls this. Black guy. Kaiser. Black Kaiser? Is that what you said? I think that's his name. Black, no, Black, it's Black Bar? No, it's Black Caesar. I think that's oh. the only. Or it might be. Uh, a troll, because sometimes they'll call this number. Oh. He said, "Take the call, take the call." Well, they did. They hung up already, so I think. Oh, she said they hung up, Aaron. Hold on, here it is. I there they are. Who is this? Money, power, respect. Oh, this is money, power, respect. Tommy Gameyer, are you out of your goddamn mind? You have Gay. millions of women on the planet. You to sleep with this man, Booker T, aka Marcus Johnson. Are you the punch, Tommy? I've been throwing up for the last two goddamn hours. Oh, shut the fuck up, Money Powers, but get off my phone. Get off my phone. That's a troll. I, I didn't get what he was saying, man. He wasn't saying shit. He I'm says... I'm supposed to be with a... Uh, uh, I don't know. I'm, I'm, he, I'm confused. He's he's trying to put up this false narrative that I'm a man. <laughs> he calls me Marcus Johnson. And my name is not Marcus Johnson. I'm so sorry. He's, what? <laughs> he says... He says I'm a man. He tells everybody, he, you know, he's a little different. If I drop the link, he'll cam up and he'll try to show you all his money. What, because is, he, what is he saying? He doesn't want anyone to like have this. me. He doesn't want anyone to have me. He says oh, he don't have a mother. reason. He just said you're a man. Just boom. He's he's probably drunk right now. He's also oh, that's why he said I was gay. I was wondering. I was like, well, how can I be gay? Okay, so if you're a man, then by then okay, but I, I get I at least get the diss. Yeah, yeah. He comes on here. He'll cam up. He's he's just he's just a. a, a tyrant. He never like, tells you why he thinks you're a man. He just thinks you're a man. 
No, he doesn't. But then he tells me that he wants to be my baby father. So it's just, it's a little weird. You know, I'm, I don't get it. You know, he said that. He oh, wants, yeah. <laughs> he's a little weird. That's all I can tell you. I, I have a lot of. So then wouldn't that make him gay? I guess it would make him gay. Like, honestly, yeah. <laughs> For him to say you a man and then to try to get with you, like, that's pretty real. Yeah, that's just, I don't know. <clears throat> I don't know. I say, you are a man. Can I get with you? <laughs> Calls me Marcus Johnson and everything. <laughs> I don't know who Marcus Johnson is. <laughs> Let me drop the link. I feel like you could you could kind of protect me with this thing here. This thing got me weak. <laughs> Don't call in and be all fucking disrespectful because I will blame on your ass. Nigga, <laughs> nigga got a whole name for you and everything. Yes, Marcus Johnson. He calls in. He's like, uh, "When are you gonna come pick up your son? I don't have any children, Tommy." <laughs> I'm like. I don't have any kids. What are you talking about? He's like, when are you coming to pick up your son? Yo, y'all need to run with that. That shit is be hilarious. You let this nigga just call me. <laughs> I he does it all the time. Me. And then let him call in weekly and say just all it the time. some new piece of the puzzle. <laughs> he goes, you remember he goes, when we used to play basketball? <laughs> nigga, you was hell. He tell that story about that time when y'all went to the club to get on them holes, <laughs> and you had to hang up on him. Why do you? He called back. Why do you keep hanging up on me, Marcus? You know it's true. <laughs> <laughs> oh, now I'm you know. If you turn that to a weekly skit, it'd be hilarious. Maybe I. I got a, I got someone that wants to talk to you. Um, okay, what do they want to say? I don't know. Let's see, Kalade. Can you hear us? Maybe, you know, sometimes it is hard for them people to learn how to do that when they come in. I get it on my show a lot. Yeah, you know, but he's been on here before. I don't know. Oh, the issue then never mind. I can now hear, I can hear you. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah, no, I'm just saying, like, uh, Tommy, uh, you're one of my biggest fans, man. I'm fucking wasted right now. I did a couple of lines of coke. I'm drunk. You said I'm one uh, of your biggest I'm, fans. Yeah, nigga. I'm I'm um I'm 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 one of Shay's biggest haters. I think she lied, but I really like low key think she likes you though. Some real shit though. She's talking all sexual and sensual to you though, you know. <laughs> but you Are said you high I was right one now? of your biggest fans. Say what? You said I was one of your biggest fans. Oh uh, yeah! Oh yeah! I've been listening to you for years, man. You mean <laughs> you're one of his biggest fans? You're one of his biggest fans? Yeah, man. He took that red pill shit, man. I'm on that shit though. You know what I'm saying? I'm fucking wasted right now. I did a couple lines of coke. I'm oh shit! Bar. Don't tell me that. Say what? Don't tell me that. Yeah, man. You can't yeah, be so you can't be doing coke and hollering that I changed your life. <laughs> Uh, no, you ain't changed my life. My life is awesome. I mean, you know, I'm just, I'm just saying, uh, you know, shit. Yeah. So what's going on, man? What the fuck y'all talking about, man? I, I mean, do you have about. a question for him? If you ask him a question, this hey, is Tommy Sotomayor. Hey, 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 what do you feel about uh, 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 my homeboy in uh, Kansas City he got that five hundred million dollar contract, man? Like, oh yeah, man. Hey, this is a good contract for both of them. If you look okay. at it, they, they got him. He got a really big signing bonus. But instead of spreading it out over four years, they get to spread it out over 12 years. So that means he's not right. going to hit it hard against the salary cap. Also, by the time the deal gets to a certain point, I'm pretty sure they have – well, no NFL uh, contract is guaranteed. The only part that's guaranteed is the signing bonus. But uh, – So I think, they, like, I, think like, I think like half of his contract is guaranteed. Like, did you no, no, no. It's, uh, I think it's uh, – shit, I think it's the first hundred and something million. Okay. Well, shit, that's a lot of fucking money, man. Oh, it's still, yeah, it is. Uh, right. It, it's, his, his contract looks almost like a baseball contract, like Mike Trout's contract, except for the difference is right. Mike Trout's contract is guaranteed the entire 400 yeah. million. That baseball contract is real. This one, right. 
um, it's so long that they're going to break it around about the sixth year. Either, but it's good. It's a good contract for both of them. Uh, Dallas Cowboys, on the other hand, they about to get screwed with Dak. Mm. It, it, they better so, hope he know, well. Like, why do you if he plays that? well this year, they're going to be screwed because right now he's on a um, he, he's on a franchise tag, and if he plays well, okay. he's going to look for a bunch of money and see they can't. And he the reason he hasn't been signed is he won't sign a contract like um. Like your boy did, um, he wants a short term contract. He only want like four years. Well, the problem with a four year contract is right. you're still giving that person about uh, um, a sixty million dollars signing bonus. So that's you only get to spread across four years instead of twelve, like um, his contract. Right. Oh, so a hey, uh, a hey, question for you, like why they? Yeah. So what? He really is on coke. All right. I think the internet got him. And maybe and maybe the internet. He kind of went mute for a second. Um, yeah. So Kalade is uh Yeah, the internet there? Like got him. He back. Are, are you there? Oh, okay. Yeah, no, no, what did you say? Well, well uh, we didn't hear your question. The internet got you. What was your next question? Oh yeah, yeah. So I was, I, I was wondering, like, like, so. Uh, what... I catch him right at the same place again. I know. Apparently, the internet does not want you answering that, asking that question. <laughs> exactly, exactly. He must was gonna say something suspect. Probably, cause he know he's known for doing that. Oh look, it looked like it, it just catch back on. Okay, what's your question? Say it quickly. Say it quickly. Right, can you guys hear me? Am I? Mm -hmm. Yeah, my Wi-Fi is fucking up. For reason. Stop moving right, around. A Cam Newton contract. A Cam Newton contract. Mm -hmm. uh, so one fucking year fucking contract up. with enough incentives to get him up to seven million. If he plays well, he will come into a huge contract uh, coming up because it'll be him and uh, only him in the contract market. But um, he will be dealing with Dak Prescott's deal. He will be dealing with uh, Lamar Jackson's deal. And he'll be he'll he'll be dealing with Deshaun Watson's deal, so um, it's a good place for him to be. I don't know if Stedham, uh, a former Auburn alum himself, uh, will be good, but if that guy's good, Cam yeah. could end up just sitting on the bench. Right. Okay. Okay. Mm hmm. What do you think about that, Shay? I don't know. I mean, I think, you know, I'm not too crazy about sports. <laughs> Do you have any other questions? No. Nah, um, I think Tommy is a good uh, addition to your stream. I think he's a live dude. He's very fucking famous. He's, um, he's just my, he's just uh, my like, new, he's my new, um, he's my new, um, my new boo thing. He's not an addition to uh, the Yeah, you definitely, you, 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 yeah, yeah, pussy is definitely wet talking to him. I can hear you. <laughs> Tommy, boy, talking to him. Uh, I think Tommy's a live dude. I like his red pill knowledge, and, I, and he's, he's a live dude. So, do you think yeah, I should, I mean, do you hey, think Tommy, I should uh, give him a chance, Kalade? <laughs> do you think I should give him, yeah, a, give chance? him a chance? No, uh, Shay, he's giving you a chance by talking to you. Oh, for real shit. You my <laughs> nigga, but he's giving you a chance by. By talking to you, do you, so Tommy's do you think popping. I should entertain him? Like, no, entertain me? No, oh, he's popular already. What's up, though? No. <laughs> All right, Kalade. All right, ask your question. All right, I'm gonna calm down. I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna hit you up though. Like, uh, uh, how late are you gonna be up though? Oh yeah, hey Tommy, are you <laughs> don't call me tonight. Twenty-four hour episode. Say it again. Did uh, Shay tell you about the 24 hour episode she's doing? Yeah, I told her I said that would be, I think that's an awesome idea. Okay, cool. Yeah, so the goal is 5,000. So, yeah, so, you know, if you could donate, that'd be cool. It's Tuesday, uh, July. What, uh, what's the date, Shay? It's the 11th. All right. 
All right, cool, man. Hey, hey, Tommy, it was good talking to you, man. I wanna, uh, I'm, I, I wanna come up on your show sometimes, man. My name is Labuto. All right, man. Make sure you call through, bro. I'm, uh, I'm going to do a show later on today where I'm gonna let people call in about the debate that I had last night, the so-called debate. All right, sounds good. All right, cool. Shay, I'll let y'all. All right, yep. be safe. All right, so I, irritating. Yeah, I have one more call. Do you have time to take another call with me, Tom? Oh, yeah, uh, yeah, yes. Yeah, I don't, I don't mind. Okay, all right. so I'm, I, in, I'm enjoying right. your audience. Yeah, I have, cool. Uh, Rich Bleasy, you always come in here with extra audio, so I'm gonna give you a second to take care of your audio because you always have feedback. All right, still, okay. Rich we good? Bleasy, we're good I now. thought Miss Betty was gonna get up here. Seemed like she wanted to say something to me. She kept saying. Yeah, Miss Betty came up. If you wanna, uh, now's your chance. Usually I have only supporters came up, but Miss Betty, you can you can hit that link if you wanna oh, ask Oh, Miss Betty question. is somebody that is a person that talks shit to you? Yeah, Tommy, I, I've never you have all the buds tonight, man. Come uh, on. I didn't know that. Yes, you got yes. to share, dog. What? What is, what is? Only one woman here. Well, yeah, Miss Betty, where's Miss Betty? She was. I think she was trying to talk shit to me. That's why I saw it, and then she was like, "Is this other person the only one can get up there?" And I was like, well, "Go ahead and hit it." Now, sugar, I thought she was the only one of cheese like that for me. Come on, Tommy dog, man. Give a dog a break. I'm a small fry. Give a dog a break. Look, um, <laughs> I ain't uh, never seen sugar smile like that till you got on the shit. So she, she got a big old pretty smile too. I like when she keep it on her face. She does, man. I thought I was the only cat who made her smile like that. I like the smile. That is good. <laughs> there need to be more black women smiling. Yeah, it does. Look how beautiful she is. Got beautiful skin, beautiful face, mm -hmm. and some nice breasticisms. <laughs> have you seen my breasticism before? Yeah. You have not. Don't sit up here and come up on this motherfucking line, lying about no, my not lying. I've seen pictures. Oh, okay. Not, not personal pictures. Oh. No, I'm not a liar. Not personal pictures. I've seen photos. <laughs> okay. All right then. Uh, but anyway, do you have any questions? No, actually, I, I just photos. I want to pop in and pop out. You know, I, I just want to say, you know, it's a great show, you guys. I fucking love it. It's great, oh, you know. Awesome. So, she fun. Um, she fun to talk to. And it's great uh, seeing, you know, Tommy's here and everything. So it, it's great. So your show's going great, uh, Sugar. So, and you got Tommy on there as well. So you might be going far. I hope so. Thank you. Tommy, you ain't got more money than me though, dog. I don't <laughs> have any money at all. I got debt. <laughs> I don't have me money. too. <laughs> don't let that shit fool you. I have debt. No, I don't let the good look or the good taste fool me. Mm -mm. <laughs> Not at all. But I just want to pop in and pop out, you know. Rich Bleasy, I'm out the easy, y'all. Later. Tommy, it's all yours. Thank you, bro. All right, dog. All right, later. <sighs> all right, so are you ready to get some rest? I think I am. I'm just, I, I think I'm high enough to go to sleep. I hope so. I'm going to see if I lay down and can go to sleep. You sure about that? Yeah, I, I think so. I don't know. I've, I've been staying up real late lately. Because you need somebody to put you to sleep. Yes, that, that, is, that is very true. But you be acting all funny and shit. Um, uh, I don't know how long it's going to take for you to... <laughs> you shut up. Uh-huh. So try to get you some rest and I will, um, I guess I'll be texting you or reaching out to you. So, All right. Well, uh, you guys have a, a, a good rest of the show and I look forward to speaking to you after you get done. Okay. Later. Thanks.